Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. I'm going to show you how you compare your iPhone and your Apple Watch together. First thing you need to do is make sure you're running iOS 8.2 or 8.3. Go into Settings on your iPhone. And when you're in there, go to General. And then hit About. And here you'll see version 8.3 or 8.2. If you have that, that will work for you. Otherwise, go back and hit Software Update, and this will check, and it will find that update. Right now, you'll have 8.3. If you're watching this in the future, it might be 8.4 or even iOS 9 as new releases come out. Now, next thing you need to do is, on your Apple Watch, choose your language. And then it's going to say that you need to open the Apple Watch app to start the process. So this is installed when you upgrade to iOS 8.2 or 8.3. We'll tap on this. Now we can pair using an automated process, but we can also tap this little eye right here and we can do a special manual mode by tapping pair Apple Watch manually and it'll walk us through the settings to do that without using this. But it's way easier to just use the built-in tool and we're going to pick this up and tap start pairing on the Apple Watch and we just line this up and the Apple Watch is paired and that's really all there is to doing this if you have already paired this with another watch you're going to see an option to restore from backup or pair this with another iPhone here we're going to set up a new Apple Watch Choose which wrist you're going to wear it on. I'm right-handed, so I'll wear it on my left wrist. So I'll hit left, and then agree to these terms and conditions. You have to agree twice, just like with any Apple thing. And then we're going to enter a password for our Apple ID. After you do that, hit next, and it will verify that. If you have two-factor authentication set up, it'll handle that during this same process as well. And while you do this, the Apple Watch will stay in this pretty cool reverse thing outlining what you have talk about location services we're going to hit okay we're going to say yes to siri diagnostics okay now we need to create a passcode so passcode will basically tell my apple watch that i am who i say i am so i'm going to hit create passcode then i key it in over here and just tap it in i'm not going to show you my passcode and you enter that in twice and then you can choose, do you want to unlock your Apple Watch with your iPhone? So I'm going to say yes to that. And now I can ins choose to install all of the current apps. So even if you don't have an Apple Watch paired already, a lot of apps you already have on your phone will have Apple Watch apps. So I'm going to hit install all. And it's going to sync. And this process can take a little while. So we'll cut to the end here in a second to finish up the Apple Watch pairing process. When you hear that notification, you'll know that your Apple Watch is ready to go. You'll also get a notification on your phone. And you can tap OK, and this is where you can get into the actual settings of your Apple Watch. And now you can start using it on your wrist. You can check out the link in the description below for more details and Apple Watch tips, tricks, and other information you need to know about how to use your Apple Watch with the iPhone. Thanks for watching.